Hi, it's Carrie. Today we're looking at lots of bugs, insects, spiders and other creepy crawlies. And yes, there's a fun ending, but you'll have to wait for that. The Redback Spider. You can see the spider here has eight legs. Spiders aren't insects, they're called arachnids. This one has a rather nasty bite. Spiders have eight legs, while insects have six. And here's a spider walking down a log. Look at those long legs. Yes, I think we'll put you back. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like spiders and insects and bugs and creepy crawlies. I know I do. The Grey Tarantula. This spider has eight hairy legs. Tarantulas are nighttime hunters who will pounce on their prey. Insects are their main prey, but they also target bigger game, including frogs, toads, and mice. That's quite a scary looking one. Off you go. And here's a spider in a web. Notice it doesn't stick to the web. Can you see the web coming at the back of the spider as he weaves his web? Can you tell me how many legs does a spider have? I'm going for this nice green praying mantis. Praying mantis have large triangular heads with bulging eyes supported on flexible necks. Some can twist their heads 180 degrees. They have two bulbous compound eyes and three small simple eyes and a pair of antennae. They get their name from their bent legs which look like they are praying. They are usually brown or green and blend in with their surroundings. Now you can see this praying mantis really does blend in with the surroundings. Good camouflage. Praying mantis catch their prey between their spiked front legs. Typical prey would be moths, crickets, grasshoppers, flies and other insects and even other praying mantis. The females lay hundreds of eggs and when the nymphs hatch they look like miniature versions of their parents. Let's take a closer look. I think it's waving at us. The golden ringed dragonfly. They are easily identified by their distinctive black and yellow bands. They are found in the UK. They feed mainly on a range of insects including midgets, flies, butterflies and even bumblebees. Dragonflies are found in heathland and moorland habitats. And here's a dragonfly feasting on a leaf. You can see its thin transparent wings and its lightweight body. It looks like it's waving hello. I think it knows it's being filmed. The yellow fat tailed scorpion is one of the most dangerous scorpions in the world. They are found in the semi-arid and arid regions of the Middle East and Africa. They grow to a length of nearly 4 inches, which is 10 centimetres. Their sting can kill. Scorpions will generally try to kill and eat anything which moves and is smaller than themselves. They have 8 legs, a pair of pincers and a narrow segmented curved tail with a venomous stinger that you can see there. The scorpion uses their pincers to quickly grab prey and then attacks with their poisonous tail stinger. The brown palmetto cockroach. They are mainly found in Florida. Cockroaches live in dirty places like sewers and trash cans. They can pick up lots of germs and can spread disease to people. Most cockroaches dislike the light. They come out at night to eat food in your kitchen. If you turn on the light, they will quickly scatter.
This is a yellow striped bumblebee. Bumblebees harvest nectar from flowers and pollinate the plants. They are large yellow and black flying insects with a distinctive buzz. They have stocky bodies that are covered with many hairs to which the pollen sticks. Bumblebees have four fast moving wings. And here's a bumblebee out working. They live in colonies with a queen bee, drones and worker bees. Bumblebees can sting multiple times without dying like honeybees do. Mosquito means little fly. There are three and a half thousand species known worldwide. Mosquitoes cause the most deaths than any other animal in the world. They are carriers of serious diseases that can be transmitted to people or animals when they suck blood. There are four life cycle stages, the egg, the larva, the pupa and then the adult. An orange coloured monarch butterfly. It's also known as the milkweed butterfly. Their larvae eat the milkweed plant. By planting milkweed in your garden, you will attract these butterflies. And here's two caterpillars chewing on a leaf. I like the yellow spots on their back. This is a brown rhinoceros beetle. They are part of the family of scarab beetles. They are among the largest beetles in the world. It gets its name from the rhinoceros-like horns which are slightly forked at the end. Rhino beetles can grow to two and a half inches long. They are also totally harmless. They are active at night and tend to hide from predators during the day. And here you can see a beetle walking across a rock. The males use their horns in mating battles against other males. The horns can be used to get through leaf litter and even for burrowing underground to escape danger. A red ladybug or ladybird a type of beetle. They are usually red with spots. There are two sets of wings. The outer set is the hard shell for protection and the inner set are the ones that they use to fly. Ladybugs are very helpful in the garden as they eat aphids and mites which are bugs that are harmful to plants and you can see there's plenty to eat here. rhinoceros beetle. Only the male rhino beetle has horns. They can make loud hissing squeaks by rubbing their wings on their abdomen to scare off predators. I think just looking at it would scare me. They are harmless though. An orange and yellow monarch butterfly I really like this big model and look at that curled up tongue. The adult females lays her eggs on the underside of milkweed leaves where they hatch. After two weeks they develop into caterpillars then transform into a pupa or chrysalis. After two weeks the monarch butterfly emerges. butterfly takes off and then it's back to normal speed. A green grasshopper. 
There are more than 11,000 species of grasshopper found worldwide in all types of habitats. They are a symbol for luck in Japan. Their size can vary from half an inch to five inches. As you can see here, their body provides camouflage, so depending on where they live, their colour can be green, brown, grey or ochre. Watch carefully and you'll see it jump off. Another green grasshopper. The long hind legs are used to travel a distance 20 times longer than its body due to a string-like structure located in the knee which works a bit like a catapult. Grasshoppers use their wings for flying. Swarms of grasshoppers are known as locusts and can do a lot of damage to crops. To attract females, the males produce a sound by rubbing their legs with their wings. This one's getting ready to jump. Ready, set, go! And here's travel. Watch at the end when the insects get their revenge. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. Thanks once again.